to the Eucharistic celebration. It is beautiful and nice morning. We are gathered here to praise and thank God. I said this every day so that we may remember that why we are gathering together in the name of God, Jesus. Because we are, uh, we are the children of God, we belong to one family, we are brothers and sisters. So let us thank and praise God together in this celebration. And in today's Mass, let us remember in a special way all the deceased members of the Brennan family, Ida Nuncino and Francis Alex Lorella. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the congregate of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, we pray, that being rightly conformed to the Paschal mysteries, what we celebrate in joy, may protect and save us with perpetual power. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. church decided to choose men from among their members and to send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. They sent Judas, called Bersabbas, and Silas, leaders among the brothers, with the following letter. The brothers, both the apostles and the elders, to the believers of Gentile origin in Antioch and Syria and Cilicia, Greetings. Since we have heard that certain persons who have gone out from us, though with no instructions from us, have said things to disturb you and have unsettled your minds, we have decided unanimously to choose representatives and send them to you, along with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, who have risked their lives for the sake of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have therefore sent Judas and Silas, who themselves will tell you the same things by word of mouth. For it has seemed good to the Holy Spirit and to us to impose on you no further burden than these essentials, that you abstain from what has been sacrificed to idols and from blood and from what is strangled, and from fornication. If you keep yourselves from these, you will do well. Farewell. So they were sent off and went down to Antioch. When they gathered the congregation together, they delivered the letter. When its members read it, they rejoiced at the exhortation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will praise you among the nations, O Lord. I will praise you among the nations, O Lord. My heart is steadfast, O God. My heart is steadfast. 
I will sing and make music. I will praise you among the nations, O Lord. Awake, my soul. Awake, O harp and lyre. I will awake the dawn. I will praise you among the nations, O Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, among the peoples. I will sing praises to you among the nations. For your steadfast love is as high as the heavens. Your faithfulness extends to the clouds. I will praise you among the nations, O Lord. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be all over the earth. I will praise you among the nations, O Lord. That's what I have done. 
I'm going to live my life for the sake of, the, for the salvation of the whole world. That's the second thing. Are we doing this? When we enter into the relation, we, in our friendship also, even in our family life, we should have this kind of friendship. That's what, that's the model of God, the true God. Revealing everything to the other. Sharing, there is a life of sharing, caring, and spending life for others. And the most important thing Jesus says in the last uh, words, the next, I have chosen you. It is not you who chose me, but I have chosen you. That's the important thing. So in a natural friendship, in, a, in any human friendship, two people have to keep choosing one another. If only one person chooses the other, but is not uh, the other person choosing in return, the, the friendship will fail. There won't be any friendship. That's why Jesus says that, I have chosen, I have initiated the friendship. Even now, that's what happening in our life. Jesus is with us. But we are not with Jesus. We are not be ready to be with Jesus. There we fail always. Try to understand the initiation of Jesus being entering into friendship with us and experience that love, that friendship, and continue in that friendship with Jesus. That is what he expected from us. He always expected from us. So the question Jesus is asking to us is the same question he asked to Peter after, uh, after, uh, after he raised from the dead. Do you love me? Jesus. And Peter said, yes, Lord, I love you. We have to be ready to answer this way, yes, Lord, I love you. Yes, Lord, I love you. So, be in friendship with Jesus. That is a strong friendship and everlasting friendship. Our friendship may not be everlasting and it may not be lasting friendship. But Jesus says the God's friendship, God's love is everlasting. Be with love and enjoy and experience that love in our every day and every moment of our life. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, the fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, which will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Let it be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand to the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all of his holy church. Graciously sanctify this gift, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all time to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifice of all to fulfillment the reality of the cross, and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the praise, the altar, and the love of sacrifice. They will overcome with pastor joy, every large, every people, exalting your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic force sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, Lord, the Lord of all holiness. May the holy day for these gifts be prayed by sending down your spirit upon them like the new form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and a chair, willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Proclaim your death and drink this cup. We proclaim your death, O Lord, till you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, you have church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with our Pope Francis and our Bishop Christian and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. How mercy for us, Lord. We pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, your spouse, with blessed Blessed apostles and all the saints who have praised you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, our God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And the Savior's command and formed by divine teachings we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin 
and say from all distress as we await the grace of hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent you, the apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you on this. And with your spirit. Bless all ways of this side. Love of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Glory of Christ. Amen.
prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually to my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly ignoring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of Him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. As it's ended, go in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. As usual, we have the adoration. As we have heard from the Gospel reading, He is our best friend. He has chosen us as friends. We have the experience of friendship being with Jesus for a while.
Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed be God, blessed be His holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be His most sacred heart, blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit of Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God.